Homer. <gasps> Any questions? What is this monstrosity? Hello everyone, this is Trafalgar Valentine. How are you doing today? Today I'm doing another vehicle drawer, like I love to do. Start off with, I'm just doing a few basic blocks. Still got my negative filter on, hope you don't mind. I think it just looks a little bit better. Today I'll be doing the Homer, which is Homer Simpson's vehicle from the Simpsons. When his brother asks him to actually make a car, this is the one he makes. <laughs> for mass production but turns out not quite what they needed for mass production anyway okay so I've just started off by doing a few blocks here and a few dome shapes I just go into pen just so you can see this a bit better Okay, start off with the front. Two front headlights here. One there, one there. The blocks I made previously are a little bit wider than what I need to be, but never mind, that's fine. The main grille. It looks like it's from a an old Rolls Royce or something but it's got a weird like roof shape at the top those vertical lines the same comes across I'm not going to join this line up just because there's a bumper in the way so I might just start that here Bump it curls around from the side. So these front bits go here. I think this is what joins it up. So so this comes joins up to the grill about there. And the bottom of the bumper continues along. Try and keep the, all these horizontal lines the same. Like so. Now for this edge. And for these two headlights, just to curl around. Enter the main grill bit. Just go doing like a square shape in the centre here. The photo reference I can see four grey sections. One, two, three, four. For reference, the hood ornament is a guy that looks like he's bowling. I've never actually noticed that before. But it could be just from the full reference, but eh, never mind. Some of the full references I get are kind of difficult to get which one people prefer sometimes. Sometimes it's all got different variations from different things. And we just go try a universal one. So, excuse me, you can hear the people outside. I live next to a street. Well, my studio is on the edge of a street, basically, so people walk by and street noise and stuff. Shouldn't be, it's 11 o'clock at night. Anyway, so this is the front wheel arch, it's kind of covered up. Continue your body going across there. Uh, 
and it's got a small blower at the top. <laughs> I'm guessing this is the modified engine when we wanted. <laughs> Come standard edition with a blower. Super turbo uh, supercharger. How would this pass regulations? I have no idea. What did they say in the episode? It cost 80,000 or something? Anyway. So there's a. Let's do the side mirror. Here. You have to excuse me if my hand keeps on disappearing from here. The full reference I'm getting from my laptop and it's going to sleep every five seconds. So <laughs> I need something to draw from. I unfortunately can't draw this accurately from memory. I like The Simpsons but I don't like it enough to actually watch this episode continuously to remember the vehicle off by heart. And the vehicles I draw, I kind of learn how to actually draw them as I'm talking to you. So I'm describing this goes here, it's, where I'm, it's actually for me telling myself where it's actually going. Just to save time and I think it's fun to actually learn together. So this is the stairs that go on the side. So, I've got that side mirror in. Let me add the other one on the other side. This is the first dome. Goes up, goes across, and then there's a giant horn on top. sized window. It's a ridiculous car. <laughs> okay for the door. Goes across here. Up and around. Drawing this door a little bit too far across but should be alright. And mind. Fill this Round. Keep this line for the rear arch here. It's quite slammed to the ground. Can you imagine if these were mass produced and there'd be just these kind of cars everywhere? I think that'd be pretty awesome actually, they'd be somewhat different. I don't know about you, but these modern cars don't really do it for me. All oh, just cheap plastic things, really, to be honest. Good if anyone could customise their own car. Dealerships give you full customisation profiles and everything was the same price so no one got charged differently. Okay so here's the rear spoiler coming up. Um, slides there, tail light here. And then this curls back down. Large ball antenna. Should do a straight line. There. Another light here. I'll take this amount of tail lights. This is the start for the second dome. Really looks like a goldfish boat. <laughs> I wonder if it's really like in the water. I wonder if these 
you can make it so the balls or the domes basically disappear from the car so you can use it as like a flotation device or something. I don't know. Okay, that's looking nice. Let's do this rear spoiler at the top. Hope you can't hear my jacket. I'm wearing my leather jacket because it is minus eight, I think, here in my studio at the moment. Minus five or something, so it's it's pretty cold. So I just grabbed the first jacket I could put on, which is this leather jacket. It's not really doing much for my temperature control. It's just making a lot of noise. So I'm actually regretting it, but so I hope you can't hear much of it. Okay, I think that's the majority of the main things. Um, I think I'll do the seats inside as well. Just do not completed lines. Quite lightly going across. I don't want this to be because this is on the inside. I don't want this to be want to not show up so much. I've just noticed in the photo references, it's still got a rear view mirror, even though there's a giant dome behind it. Is there any point? Okay, now for the rear seats, which is pretty much like a couch. Down. I like drawing these cartoon cards, they're very simple to draw. Look at all these. Well, I say it's simple to draw, and this one's not exactly the most average kind of joke car. Hey, it's still. It's pretty interesting. Something a bit different anyway. We might have a go at driving it. It's quite difficult. <laughs> Spoiler will come back down here on the inside. Now for the wheel underneath. I've drawn these wheels quite small actually. <laughs> a bit too small for the vehicle. How does that look? Well, I think you'll <laughs> be alright, I think. It is after all just a cartoon car. It's not real, it doesn't have to go on the roads. I'm not designing this for Ford or anything, so they'll have to look at these design plans. Oh, that'd be so funny though. Handed in the design plans and forgot to change the wheels. Get the car in production. Are you sure you wanted five inch profile tyres for this car? Even though it weighs five tons? Uh whoops. <laughs> okay, um now I've done pretty much all the basic details now and stuff for the car. Might go ooh. Hold the phone, I just noticed. Got some lights at the bottom of the bumper here. One, two, three, four. Anything else I've forgotten? Ooh, so many little tricky things in this car. There's a badge on the side, but I can't even read what it really it says. It's too small. Now I'm trying to find some good pictures of these. Never mind. It looks good. It looks good. It looks like the home of the car. I'm happy. Now we'll do some shading, I think. Where to start with this thing? Let me start on these wheel arches. How much time are we on? 14 minutes so far. That's a pretty good time for me. As much as I would like to create some of these drawings that are, I've seen some of the professionals do, which take 30 or 40 hours a week sometimes some of these images I've seen other people draw I don't really have that and I'd rather generate more videos so I'll try and keep the cars down to half an hour 45 minutes tops there was a special one I did with the 1971 Barracuda ice cream tank which took me five hours or six hours to actually do but that was a kind of exception I kind of needed that 
doing a lot of these rough drawings and stuff like that, rough sketches and stuff. I need to do something a bit more, a bit more full fat, for something a bit extra. You know, the cream of the creme. Test my art skills and stuff like that. What better to test your art skills with a 71 Barracuda ice cream tank? Okay, I'm just doing some shading here. Do some lines for the chrome. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I do some cross action actually. So I'm just going to start off with doing some dashed lines from most of the black places I've just decorated. So, maybe some down here. Like that. It's a bit small, I've just seen, so I'm just gonna. Ooh. Okay, is that better? It's hard to decide what to do next after this car. I've got, I think, I spent a few weeks, I've just had the internet recently, and I've spent a few weeks just getting as much reference material as I can for different cars to draw and stuff. Going over lots of different things, and I try and stay away from the common, normal kind of cars, because I see them every day, people have seen them every day, and all of the more no one to everyone else um but i like to draw something different like uh, that land shark i did not so long ago i've never seen that before and i just randomly came upon it and i thought well you've never seen that before it's something completely different let's try and draw it and, well, my attempt to try and draw it is what you see on that video it's the same with this homer car i thought well it's something different to do something you don't see every day and some of these cars are only seen in like maybe one or two episodes of, an, of a cartoon or something. People have actually perhaps given some thought to actually how that vehicle would want to go and stuff. And bringing those ideas back to life. Reanimating the ideas of fallen people back into the imagination of my own. To draw on these imagination. Okay, sorry. Getting carried away. Calm it down. Keep on shading, just keep on shading. Like so. And I keep forgetting confu I keep forgetting they've actually got the negative filter on. It shows up negative. So all the white lines you see in are actually black to me. And <laughs> I keep forgetting about it, so I'm just like, yeah, I'm just highlighting all these different black lines in as if you can see and blah blah blah. Then I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> Black lines, these are white. This guy colorblind or something. <clears throat> okay. It's pretty much kind of the shading I might do. I might move into time lapse in a minute. Get and run out of things to talk about and describe what I'm doing. And I'm going slightly mad because I'm freezing cold and I want to get out of the studio. Hopefully you can't see my breath in the video because every time I'm trying to talk to you it's like Puff the Magic Dragon All of this air in front of me, it's struggling to actually see the drawing do, 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 do. Using the ruler to keep these lines nice and crisp like So Try and leave a little highlight in between the shadows, just to still emphasize the shapes. Sorry, I'm turning the paper just so I can pivot my hand around this bit. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, I'll look at that so far. Hmm. Maybe I should do these lines up here across. If I space the lines out, some variation to lines. The full reference itself doesn't actually have any shading in it, I just thought I'd add it in for some extra effect. But because there is none on the actual photo reference, I'm kind of just winging it as I go along. Which, although some people kind of disagree with, they like to pre-plan everything, precise angles, degrees, precision, professional finish. But I want to show you how to draw a car. I'm not here to teach you maths and about trigonometry and stuff. Yeah, I mean, if I was going to hand this picture off to a professional advertiser, executive marketing, pish, whatever it is, I don't know, but I would spend a lot more time drawing and going over all the fine details and stuff, making sure that this per picture is absolutely crystal clear, perfect, right down to the very last core of every single line I'm drawing with the pen. But, I'm just here to teach, just to show you my drawing, just to kind of learn with you. I'd rather focus on the drawing, keep the shading going, and just get down to it. One helpful tip I might just mention, if you want to actually emphasise some of the whiter areas that you have in your shading with pen like me, like for instance this top bit of this grill. Ooh, papers move so much. Moving away. Do apologize for that small. Yes, if you want to emphasize some of the more whiter bits, do the area around it more darker. So for instance this little bowling guy on here, I want to make him more stand out. So what I'll do is I'll maintain that pattern I've got going across the bonnet of these lines going across. And as I get closer, my lines will slow down just so I've got more precision to stop. There. And just to continue underneath them. Like so. How is that looking so far? Yeah, it's getting there. Although it looks, might look a bit weird now, just because I've got the, still got the filter on, but yeah, just wait till the end, see what it looks like, okay? Might move into time lapse now just to speed it along for you. Okay, so you can now see the effect that I've done. I hope you enjoyed this video. Might actually just do some quick colouring. Power of colour. Okay. 
if you have any other suggestions the pen doesn't work so if you have any suggestions for any other vehicles you like to draw just leave some in the comments below I know there's a lot of cars out there and stuff to draw there's too many I think when I looked at my reference photo box I think I had over uh, 1200 at least photos that I found in the past month I've just been literally like oh that'd be cool to draw oh that'd be cool to draw and, and, <laughs> and not even like photos of actual cars that exist more of them are just cars from cartoons and stuff like that random 80s cartoons the mask Captain Scarlet Thunderbirds G.I. Joe man I don't know random stuff just finished off the color yes yeah, so you can see I've just maintained the block shading with the, the cross hatching and stuff just throughout the actual vehicle Uh, not doing this too neatly, just rough going over it in highlighters. Like so, what time are we on now? Okay, I'm gonna have to head back in soon because I'm freezing. As much as I would like to draw more, my hands are getting numb, my legs are getting numb. Uh, <laughs> okay, how's that looking? Cool. I think I'll leave it as that. I can resign it. Well, well Trafalgar Valentine. Thanks so much for watching guys, hope you enjoyed the video, see you later.